Welcome to Looptopia, where we're building our own utopian homestead. Today is going to be for very basic skills on how to cut down a tree. We're going to talk about trees a little bit. Uh, we have to cut down a leaner, and we have to cut down a tree really close to the tower. And I've got some friends to come help. And you can watch that whole process and how it went. Now, I really don't like cutting down trees. I'm a nature guy. I love trees. You would almost call me a tree hugger. But these ones are actually pretty dangerous to leave around your house. And they're also growing under and near the tower that they're going to push the tower out of kilter soon. And that could be a major problem and very, very dangerous. So we had to, to cut these trees down, but we were planning on using them mostly in the garden. And um, we're going to find some other uses, maybe do some wood carving to honor the tree a little bit. All right, for you homesteaders or wannabe homesteaders who have never cut down a tree but want to learn, here's the very basics. Now, there's a lot to it, but this is like just a tree going straight up and down, not leaning, you're not doing anything crazy. So you want the tree to fall that way. What you're looking at is the tree trunk. And you need to cut a wedge about one-third of the way in. You'll start with the bottom cut, and then come down and make sure they meet right here. The bottom cut shouldn't go longer and the, the angle cut shouldn't go deeper. They should have a nice little corner um, or it causes a lot of problems when it falls. After you have this wedge cut out, you'll go to the back side of the tree, stay away from the wedge, walk around, and you will do what's called a back cut where you just come straight in and it's a few inches above the wedge. And you stop right here about anywhere from two inches to one inch and you're going to leave what's called a hinge. So there'll be a little thing of wood right here. You will keep going uh, until you get to this. And if usually the tree weight will just take it. If that doesn't happen, usually a safer way is you will see people hammer a wedge on this side to force it open or even cut out a section and do a car jack. Or they'll tie it uh, with ropes and pull it. So those are the basics of cutting down a tree. So we've got a few trees we got to deal with because it's right on the fire tower. We got this leaner. This is a really nasty leaner. Um, these can be very dangerous even at this size. We've also got these guys. These grew right next to the tower and now they are really tall. This I'm going to get help with because this is bigger than I've actually ever cut down. I can handle small trees, but this is kind of out of my league. So I'm going to get help with these and we'll walk you through it also take a look at that lean because of the extreme lean of this tree he didn't even get to the back cut before it fell it just took off so with a leaner this extreme you got to be careful how you cut it and if you're a novice just don't don't even mess with this but what you want to do is put a wedge in and this will take it but notice here that it's barber chaired a little bit. See that strap sticking out? That is spring loaded and if you cut it wrong, it will snap back and punch you in the gut. Watch it here as it jumps back when he finishes the cut. If that were more spring loaded or a larger tree, it could really kill somebody. So this tree is much straighter, but it's still 40 feet up in the air and pretty dangerous. Uh, that little tree can still get you. Now here's what we talked about in the beginning of the video where he's putting a wedge in. He's starting with the bottom cut and then he'll bring it down on an angle and connect a wedge. It's just hard to see from this angle and I didn't really want to get in close to the camera because it is kind of dangerous uh, to be around people cutting. You want to keep a good safe distance. And here's where he's putting in the angle and you can kind of see from the way he's holding his chainsaw. So even with the small trees, you still use the same pattern. You can see a much better shot of the wedge, and now you'll see the back cut. And notice he's a few inches above the wedge. And he's leaving a hinge, but once it gets close enough and the hinge is cut, the tree will just start going on its own. And that's what happened. So the larger tree is 
somewhere between 50 and 60 feet high. And it's a yellow pine, and it's really big. Fortunately, it's right next to the tower, so instead of having to throw a rope around it, you can just go up and tie one on. And so he is going to strap a rope on. The easiest way to get a heavy rope or a chain around a tree is to first drop a light rope. That way you're not climbing up a tree with it or up a tower. And then you just pull the heavy rope up. You tie it to it and you'll see that's what's going on here. And then you can pull that around the tree. You want to attach the heavy ropes or chains with D-ring shackles or something that's really can hold a lot of weight and not break. Because this is a large tree, you don't want to pull the line directly at you. That's dangerous. So what you do is you set up a pulley system so you can pull from a different angle and be in a safe place as you pull. And usually a lot of people do this with a truck or a car or something. But if you had enough manpower, you could have a bunch of people pulling the rope at the same time. Then what you do is you kind of load the tree with a little tension. You want to pull it so it's nice and tight and it's got a, it's got a nice little pull going before you start your cutting. And here you can see the whole setup as it goes to the tree. You'll see the wedge and the back cut. Same technique is used for the larger tree. And you'll see him putting the wedge in here. And he did clean up the wedge so the corners met a little better. But you get a little idea what it looks like. Remember, it's really important to make the wedge meet in the back perfectly. So it is okay to come back and clean it up. This is what it looks like after. It looks so different here without a tree. I feel bad about cutting down these pines, but fortunately, this is not the kind of pine you can really build with well. I'm gonna try to use some of the fence posts, but most likely we're just gonna use it for a garden bed. But now it's so weird to see it open. Anyway, I hope you learned a little about how to bring down a tree close to buildings. And uh, it was pretty fun and terrifying at the same time. I hope you learned something. There's lots of great videos that go way deeper into cutting trees. And if you're not 100% sure what you're doing, get some help. That's what I did. So, you know, safety first. I know it sounds ridiculous, but even cutting down little tiny trees, I put on full chainsaw gear. So, you know, protect yourself. Be smart. This helmet's already saved me once. Don't forget that we're also over on Odyssey. We do some random live streams that are uncensored that we're not allowed to do here on YouTube. I also put up stories exclusively to Odyssey. And there's a bonus there. If you sign up through the link below and you put in our little custom code, you will get uh, 50 library coins. So, hey man, free crypto. Go on by. I'll see you there. Thanks for coming.